Right. Rock and roll. Cool. Well, you got the stamp of approval and we are certi certi uh I don't know, we're certified or certifiable, one of the two. <laughs> All bold and the above. <laughs> no doubt. Chris Thomas from One Long Thought. Hello. Hello. And how, how are, are you? you? Well, okay. I I one of us owes each other, the other one is seven up or something. I'm doing well, thank you. And yourself. And I'm doing well as well. Cool, cool, cool. So it's been about a year. Well, it's been a, a year and a couple of months since we last talked and interviewed you. And I want to, I almost want to say John. Is that right? David. So close. So yeah. close. I don't know if I'm going to edit that out and just pretend like I knew what it was. David, we miss you already. Um, okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's been uh, easily well over a year. And at that point in time, one long thought was still looking down the road at the um, pending album release at some point. But you guys were still working on tracks and um, kind of finalizing up. It's out. And oh, my I'm gosh. Still- so I've known you for a couple of years, at least. And I've heard you perform live and I've heard you perform. I mean, I've heard your music online and um I've got to say that in everything that I've heard you do so far, this is totally amazing. I mean, like s- stellar. I th- I, well, I thank you so much for. Oh, you're for welcome. Second. You're welcome. And, and and it's just, it's still surprising to me. Um, you know, we had some songs uh, that uh, that we really loved that we put together and that we performed. Um, and, uh, you know, I can't just put it all in our own hands. We had a very amazing producer when we went into the studio for this uh, album, Midnight Swim. And uh, he really gave us a new take on some of our songs. I mean, he even laid down some of the guitar tracks on here, like like some of the light ones. But uh, man, like really put this vibe into our CD that, uh, that really we now are trying to emulate on stage. And I think it's given us this energy that's just uh we, we really love it cool um i've already got my favorites and i've i mean i the whole album from beginning to end is great if you guys haven't gotten a chance our listeners if you haven't gotten a chance to check it out um you've got to check out one long thought is it Bandcamp that you guys are on or is it soundcloud or spot tell me that i'm getting one of them where are you guys at we are everywhere oh you we are, are on- good yeah spotify we're on itunes and we've got that uh, that that one that stays forever so the legacy uh, membership so all of our our music is going to be forever on all of those things repetitively until the end of time from what i hear cool. so cool, please cool. check anywhere you'd like to Bandcamp does have some additional uh controls on it uh, we're trying to get our swag up on spotify right now but Bandcamp has all of that swag on it if you want a koozie you want a, a sweatshirt or a, or a pink t-shirt sorry about that or if you want a nice hat um i i made those hats from my own heart <laughs> i don't know i mean I, you know i'm only the guy that's got you guys on rotation so i don't know if that counts or anything anyway okay so cool good to know speaking of which one long thought is on at least medium if not heavy rotation on x5 radio um, i would say that on average you can hear them at least once every hour and a half throughout the broadcast day. Um, and I did myself some notes because there was definitely some of your tracks that I want to do uh, talk about with you today. Um, one long thought based out of? We are out of Springfield, Missouri. Cool. Springfield, Missouri. See, there is other there are uh, things coming out of that area that are just on fire. Um, so getting to the album, uh, Midnight Swim. Um, who where did the where did the idea come from because i haven't really detected anything necessarily through what i've heard so far um being something referring to a midnight swim unless it's totally lost on me which could be the case 
So the title track, Midnight Swim, um, the it is just, track, of course, right. It's it's the oddball of the album. Like not to say that each of the the, uh, the songs in its own self is not the oddball because we don't really stick to one genre throughout the uh, the course of the album. No, um, but uh, but Midnight Swim um, just has this this just this feel to it, and uh, it's not like we want it to be one of the singles or it to be one of the forefronts, but it really speaks this this whole album speaks midnight swim okay okay so um oddly enough then that means that i got every other track off the album except midnight swim because i have not gotten a chance to hear that one yet oddly enough however i've already got my favorites and i think you guys will all chris you mentioned it just a minute ago each one of them is basically you aren't sticking to a particular genre so each one is almost a standalone track uh, you know, of its own right. Um, I do have my favorites. Actually, what what perked my ears up here a couple of days ago as I was listening to the station, I Was Alive came on. But I Was Alive came on intermixed in with, I don't know, maybe Duran Duran or um, even, um, it wouldn't have been Coldplay, but it, it could have been any other group USA. And I could not tell the difference in sound quality and I could not tell the difference in caliber of music between classic, classic cuts and your guys' brand new track. And the world just keeps turning. Now I am the one burning from inside. So much so that I actually had to go back into the history on the station to see if I for sure because I thought I recognized those those vocals a little bit, but um, I had to go back and sure enough, I was alive. You guys, that is by far an amazing, amazing track. That's got actually that's got like um, AOR potential written all over it. I mean, it's well, yeah, oh, totally. Um, what uh, what's your uh, feelings about that particular track? Because you're really, I wouldn't say you're stretching it. But you're really showing us a new side of you. You know, um, I mean, lyric-wise, uh, now, 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 you say this is another side of me. Let me let me reverse a little bit. Sorry about that. You know, um, as I told you about a year and a half ago, you know, this is a whole new feel for me as well. I've been working with uh, with musicians who were part of a, a funk band that had been together for 13 years, and so for them this is a whole new new singer and for me this is not only just a whole new group of gentlemen this is a whole new group of gentlemen playing a whole new different language of music and i think what we put together i think and i feel is is just it it, it pretty much speaks for itself but it is a different a different type of music altogether now that being said i was alive in itself in its lyrics um it is really just about you know um I, I said it best uh, earlier today. Um, you know, it, it, it it's about those things in life that you did when you were a kid, or or even just as you're an adult. You know, those things that that you find just they don't work for you anymore. You know what I mean? They're not bringing that fire anymore. And and how you move on, like, and what you're moving on for. And and if you didn't catch the end of the song, look, that's that's that hidden message awesome awesome and of course i heard the end of the song i've listened to it over <laughs> I, yeah no i know it from beginning to end <laughs> totally. um that's cool though and i always it's it's always interesting hearing uh, the artist that did the song hearing their take on a particular track because it's not always what you have in your mind as far as what it might have been about but it's it's awesome to hear what at least what their intention was and it just goes you know it's like anybody it's it's upbeat it's 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 bright without being oh god what's even the i don't even have words for this i don't know if they've been made yet um 
it's an amazing track though i was alive um one long thought and i'm when you start checking out their music you got to play that one over and over a couple of times um, i w- want to give a shout out on that one yes. to just to call out carabello my director uh, our producer he did such an amazing job just working with us especially on i was alive and bringing that song to life so cool that's that's our guy sorry who was that again for paul carabello paul carabello okay paul thank you thank you very much because great job um and then you go through the album a little bit and uh and then you hear a track that's kind of reminiscent almost of I had to write the Beach Boys down. And I don't say that in a bad way because I'm not necessarily a Beach Boy fan, but there's some harmonization going on there. And there's this feel to my sunshine. And I just thought, my sunshine, Beach Boys, they almost go hand in hand. And it's like, they probably have absolutely nothing to do with each other. But the the vocals in it though, and and the track itself, they're again, man, just an, an incredible song. So what well, you're I- I stepped into a gold mine. You know what I mean? Um, these musicians are so talented. And, uh, you know, One Long Thought is uh, is such an alive thing. Um, but my sunshine really in itself uh, started from something um, that I observed from my wife, uh, who you know very well. <laughs> a little so, bit, yeah. So I realized that, uh, you know, um, she was just beating herself up on her job. You know, um, she would go to work. And, uh, you know, and she would, she would, you know, she would go up right when the sun's rising, you know, and she'd be out there, you know. Strawberry wine isn't as sweet as my sunshine. She rides in the morning, fall into bed before the moonlight covers her. She's so beat up. She's so worn out already, you know? And and she doesn't even know. Like, this, that wasn't even the brightest part of the day. The brightest part of the day is now, you know? What, you know? But, you know, that's it's not where she was able to to be. And and so, so that song was was really 100% for for my gen. Oh. Okay, now, oh, that almost gave me chills. Now I'm going to listen to it differently when uh, I uh, listen to it next time. Um, and she just got herself a, a different job here not all that long ago. Absolutely. Totally yeah. different feel, totally different environment. And, you know, she's the champ. She just she just wins everybody over heart and soul. So uh, you know. she's such a good people person that that's almost the ideal um, kind of uh, job for her, regardless of what position it is with the company. So agreed 100 percent spoken yet because we don't want to actually say their name and be a event of a lawsuit or you know unless there was like a free club membership or something in there in which case you know we'll say it all day long but that's not the case so anyway congratulations jen <laughs> um let's see okay so i just got to give you a little bit of card about this on our last interview we kind of started to delve into one of my favorite arenas of um, conversation which is um the whole like fringe topic thing, you know, aerial phenomenon, cryptids. Oddly enough, and I don't think it has anything to do with it now upon playing, except that it's got a great beat and I can dance to it. Um, But reptilian, I just thought that was an interesting, first of all, interesting name for a a song. Um, And I tried really hard to like, you know, come up with some like conspiracy theory, like, you know, underlying meaning to it, but I couldn't. Um, reptilian. What's uh, what's the story behind that one? So it's this is this is probably one of the longer stories that you're gonna hear. So I hope you got a couple seconds. Um, yeah, I got so, a couple. Oh, excellent, <laughs> fantastic. So uh, I first got together with the band. So I, I want to tell you, uh, Reptilian was the first song that we wrote together as a band. Oh. And, um, you know, they had a lot of these uh, these rhythms together, and uh, you know, I wasn't. I wasn't fully confident, you know, yet in myself, but man, these guys were so good. So I just kept coming back and I kept listening and uh, they had this rhythm that I really liked. And, uh, you know, um, and, and I kept coming back to it and I'm like, you know what? 
I'm going to build on this. And the name that they had for that rhythm was Reptilian. And I, yes, absolutely. And I said, you know what? You know what? I can build around this. I can really build around this because there's there's this almost reptilian like re relationship that I'm going with right now and 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 you know and, and it's odd you know it, it's not like like my wife's a snake no no but but she's wrapped herself so entirely around my life and the the, the lyrics in there uh, I mean really I think outline that and then towards the end you just really get that reassurance that not only are we moving forward, but like everyone was was betting against us. But uh, you know that that's how it is in life, right? Exactly, exactly. Wow, actually, that that behind the scenes story is a lot cooler than anything I could have even imagined. Wow, and you know I think that it's awesome um, only because of the fact. Yes, I know your wife, and I've known her for a little while. Um, you know, I, I know the dynamics of your guys' relationship, and you know the and all that it's just it's so cool to see you express part of your heart and soul and talent you know in direct tribute and you know honor of her you know and i know that musicians do that you know um i mean i can think of a number of songs right off the bat where musicians have either written about a family member or um you know like a friend or whatever and so that that's very cool see it just goes to show that i'm not as on or on cue as i would like to think i am sometimes um but anyway and the, what i noticed about that musically and i almost hesitated even writing this down but it really does have just a little bit of almost a ska sound or a blue beach sound to it like it, it's got it's definitely got um, uh, you leave a part of me behind so i can live like you're doing right now sir and i thank you for it well that's that's one of the reasons why i really like this platform is because i do promoting is just part of me you know whether it's a friend of mine that's going out and doing a garage sale or you know my friend that's you know this rock and roll star or you know whatever um, i just like to be able to do it um i'm wondering what it would take to get uh olt to um new mexico you know um here, here's here's the thing and, and and this has never even really been brought to my table before i mean but uh if i were if we were to find enough to get us there and make it our stop along the way possibly even to washington state I can find stages. I just need. I just need to be oh. able to. Feed. Yeah, yeah. And actually, in a situation like that, um, because I'm, well, we were this close to um, landing Oingo Boingo. Oh my goodness! Actually, I just had to message Rob back within the last couple of days. I, I sat in on my first Fiesta board um, panel uh, meeting here within the last couple of weeks, and that was one thing I was at least able to bring to the table because Brendan McCreary the lead singer of former or Oingo Boingo former members had told me to bounce it off of Johnny, the drummer, the, one of the originals. And um, so I approached them about it through one of their websites that close. Had it not already been for the fact that they were already scheduled in another um, venue um, elsewhere that day, um, I would have brought Oingo Boingo to this town. So what we're actually doing is we're looking to bring them to the town 75th anniversary next year um, to play. Um, so, but I've also got a, uh, my uh, co-host co on the Drop podcast, Wired from uh, the United Kingdom, um, could possibly be stateside in early May. And if he is, then we're going to look into booking him at a number of venues. But if a situation like that were to arise, I would love to think that I could get you guys here and um, help set up a bunch of different shows along the way to uh, is, you know, make it worth your while. Um, 
playing fiesta though on on this end which is always the first weekend in may um that would be that would be the that would be what i would want to get you guys here for because then you guys would be playing in, in front of thousands of people so um that's amazing well what do you know we just got our 10 minute mark and so that's good so that keeps us all in line um by the way i probably should say you know i know what you're listening to chris knows what you're listening to but i just want to make sure that you know that you're listening to x vibe radio coming to you from the muddy banks of the wishta to the muddy banks of the rio Grande, here on the groove zone network i'm djd phoenix coming to you out of new mexico tonight hanging out with chris thomas from one long thought and he is in springfield missouri well so with all the music stuff aside um how are things i mean you guys had a good holiday oh yeah i mean yeah it, it was bittersweet you know we lost one of our pups but uh i mean other than that i mean uh it was uh you know i know i didn't think it would come around after after losing the pup to tell you the truth but uh you know um every time we turned around just good things happened and it became christmas again and uh if you didn't know, Christmas is my name, only there's an H-O in my name that you have to take out before it's Christmas. So, put that on a on Christmas card for next year. Beats into my ear Driving me on To the next catastrophe Don't hold back The soul breaking and answering Love you too a lot. Good thing it's you that he's late. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Whatever, rock star wife. Um, I love you and miss you too. Um, okay, so yeah, because uh, we only got just under five minutes, so we'll um, uh, bring this back in. Um, I'm gonna get uh, word to the world. Um, I want to get your ideas on, and actually, uh, we'll do all that just now. So I'll bring us back in from the break here. You ready? and we're back and thank you for those sponsors and um no those weren't sponsors those were just our incredible uh voiceover people hi i'm djd phoenix and you are watching um the good grief i just almost had it too wow hi i'm djd phoenix welcome back to the show and you are watching convos here on uh the groove zone network and also hearing us on x vibe radio i'm hanging out uh fortunately enough with our um uh, with a good friend of mine uh, of a long time i'm hanging out with uh chris thomas of the band one long thought out of missouri and um they've got the new album midnight swim out um chris we've got a chance uh, to talk about a lot just out of curiosity what's your favorite track off the album personally you know, I, I, I wouldn't be doing them justice by saying, uh, if I didn't say all of them were at one point in time or another, you know, um, at this point in time, though, in, in like, I guess all the tracks in retrospect, I think looking back at all the, it comes down to the one that was just the most fun to, uh, to record and to write and to, and to just, and to sing. And, and I'm going to put all that onto reptilian because man, that, that track really it takes a lot it really does but when i performed that track uh when i just performed it uh just at the kiss bar and grill here in uh, springfield missouri okay. um, i uh i just really saw people engaging with me while i was doing those parts while i was articulating these really difficult to articulate articulate situations and it's just it was a whole lot of fun and i think really really um it was just exciting for me and for the crowd so awesome awesome everything cool and i kind of want to speak real quickly to the fans listening and watching in the springfield missouri and surrounding areas keep coming out and supporting these guys keep listening to x5 radio because you probably are just now discovering us for the first time um, 24 hours a day seven days a week modern music programming which now features very heavily one long thought in the mix so 
if you want a real treat, you got to tune in and keep it tuned in right there. We will be with you guys for at least the next year, if not two. Um, cool. Uh, word to the world. What's your, uh, what's your word to anybody listening or watching today? What, what, what would you like to impart? You know, it's, it's difficult to do anything in this world. You know, you take your first steps and you move towards a goal, no matter what that goal is, no matter what you have in mind. Um, you know, a, a lot of people, um, I don't know, they want to move towards comfort and towards money and things like that. But, uh, you know, um, if I have one word to people today, it would be um, to step outside of that comfort zone. Um, just just spend a little bit of time in that coldness and that in that night air, you know, uh, get a little bit of that chill of change and 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 move forward because uh, you know none of this would be happening if if we didn't all migrate into a different situation. That's for sure. Well, kids, as much as I hate to say it, uh, we've been hanging out with Chris Thomas of One Long Thought. However, this has been one short interview. So. Um, with that being said, we'll have to get you back on and I'd really like to invite, um, the rest of the guys on with you, uh, maybe the next round, um, tell them that their, uh, fans out there are awaiting to actually meet them. Um, well, uh, Derek, Ricky and David are all really ready to meet the fans. Let me tell you. Cool. So once again, guys, when one long thought plays in your area, whether it's in Missouri or anywhere else, you got to go out and see them. Do check them out online. Um, like I said, they're everywhere. Chris, thank you so much for putting some time aside, buddy. Totally appreciate this. Thank you, man. You bet. And uh, so for X5 Radio, this is DJ D Phoenix. And hope could bring you here to me. But even if it did.